1915, New York, the financial heart of America, now the richest nation on Earth. It prospers while its competitors in Europe are locked in the life and death struggles of World War I. America's determination to stay out of the conflict is personified by Henry Ford. Not only is he a committed pacifist, but flushed with his business success, he believes he has the intelligence and power to broker peace. In the fall of 1915, he embarks on a self-sponsored peace mission to Stockholm, Sweden. He charters a ship to transport a delegation of American pacifists and tells the press, we are going to try to get the boys out of their trenches and back to their homes by Christmas Day. Reporters call it the Ship of Fools. Ignored by the warring nations, it is a complete failure. On April 6, 1917, America enters World War I. Ford may not like it, but for other would-be titans, the war is a golden opportunity. And it jumpstarts a new technology, aviation. Young engineers like Donald Douglas begin building an industry that will soon take over America. Cameras film combat aircraft being assembled in Connecticut and Washington State. They are powered by a revolutionary new technology, the Liberty Engine, designed to be mass produced. The government tasks engine and automobile manufacturers to build them, including Henry Ford. In a complete U-turn, Ford abandons his pacifist stand and his state-of-the-art assembly lines feed the war machine. Initially, he only supplies the engine cylinders, but in true Ford style, he streamlines the process, increasing production from 151 to 2,000 cylinders a day, then delivers nearly 4,000 completed engines. 